Dove was the first child that my husband John and I had, and somewhere between his first and second birthday, uh, he got the diagnosis of autism. When Dove was very little, he seemed really connected. Uh, when his dad would walk in the room, he would smile at him. He seemed warm and affectionate, but somewhere around his first birthday, he stopped responding to us. He stopped looking at us when we came into the room, and he, it felt like he just disappeared right before our eyes. Dove has one of the more severe forms of autism. He can't speak, and he really can't control his behaviors. When Dove was nine years old, someone was able to teach Dove how to point on a letter board and communicate. One of the first things I asked Dove was, what have you been doing all these years? And his answer came, it was one word, listening. Dove has a really wonderful personality. He's a very sweet person. He never gives up. And he really doesn't want other people to give up on him either. Dove graduated high school at the age of 23. It was an incredible accomplishment. Of course, after that uh, came the big question, what now? Frankly, most programs really don't want to get involved with someone like Dove. When they have the kind of behaviors uh, that Dove has or they're nonverbal, there's no summer camp, there's no day program, there's no residential situation. But Etta has taken on the challenge. Etta is pioneering a way to include people like Dove and make them a part of the world. How about telling us one thing you like about Etta, okay? Since Dove started the Edda Day program, he's really becoming more aware of his environment. He's looking around on the shelves in the grocery store. He's noticing things in the world, and the world noticing him. The Adult Day program at Edda, it's more than a program. And the people who are part of it, they're more than service providers. Their attitude is, we're going to do this. We're not going to give up on somebody. I can't even tell you what that means to us. It's like. We can breathe. We can breathe a sigh of relief.